In this video, we're going to talk about movement. Movement is actually very closely related to repetition and pattern because it can be um, created through repetition and pattern. But there's other ways to do it as well. And movement is creating the look or feeling of action or strong direction. It is also a way of directing a viewer's eye through a work. Um, so while the object or the, the painting or the drawing or the sculpture can't actually move on its own, it's a static piece, but when you look at it visually, it looks like uh, it's moving. So it might have, you might describe it as it looks like something that twists uh, or looks like a corkscrew that you can, you can feel that sort of it's trying to twist even though it's not actually twisting. So it becomes a visual thing. And in this uh, example here, you have movement that can be showing activity. It can also... Um, this example can also be looked at as I'm drawing your eye through the piece. So when you look at this, I can pretty much make a guess that your eye is following all of the red lines, but it's moving in a zigzag pattern because the lines do as well. Um, also, because I've used contrasting colors, that red and green, um, that really starts to give it a visual vibration that makes it very active. Um, designs like this can actually be hard to look at for very long. Uh, because they end up being so um, make your so active in your mind that they become hard to look at. A lot of optical illusions can be uh, created through the use of movement. I can also direct or guide your eye through a piece as well. So in the example you see here, um, either your eye is starting in the little circle, moving to the big circle, or vice versa, um, and your eye is moving in an arc because those circles are in an arc. So you're not really visually going from the big circle to the little circle and back. You follow the, the circles in between as well. Movement's a really powerful tool for you to create a dynamic sculpture um, where it, it uh, helps to draw your eye around a three-dimensional object. Um, so it's something to really think about when we get to the freestanding work.